suppose we have a right triangle with sides of length A and B and a hypotenuse of length C. We can take a second copy of this triangle and place it here, which forms a square shape like this. We can also fill out the two triangles to rectangles in this manner here. All three of these new shapes, the yellow square, the blue rectangle, and the green rectangle, all have a side of length C. We can use the altitude of the original triangles to then create the final missing square up in the upper right corner here. The full diagram that we have just created is a square with a side length of C plus H. Therefore, the area contained in this square is the quantity C plus H squared. But now move the four triangles used to create the two rectangles in this fashion here. The resulting shape is now two squares. The upper right square has a side length of H, and the new square that is diagonally tilted has a side length of A plus B. Therefore, the area contained is the quantity A plus B squared added to the quantity H squared. This formula implies the Pythagorean theorem. Let's see how by revisiting the original triangle. This triangle had sides of length A and B and a hypotenuse of length C and an altitude of length H. We can expand the formula algebraically like this, and then we compute the area of the triangle in two ways, one half times the base times the height, to realize that A times B equals C times H. Therefore, in the equation, the 2 times C times H cancels with the 2 times A times B, and the H squares cancel from both sides, resulting in the equation C squared equals A squared plus B squared. This latter formula is known as the Pythagorean theorem. It says that the square of a hypotenuse of a right triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the leg lengths.